Hey guys, it's Richard here back with another Richard Plays, Nancy Drew, Alibi, and Ashes. We are now in part four, and we're about to finish talking to Brenda Carlton here, and then we're going to talk to the rest of the characters and help net and help get Nancy out of jail. All right, here we go. So then she just flagrantly breaks the law. Good to know. Stop, that's not what I said. I don't want to be interviewed. I just need to find out what's going on with Nancy. Okay, all right. I'll put the kid gloves back on. Everyone in this town is so shy. I'd kill for a little verbal sparring now and again. You gotta be primed and ready for the big time. And I get nothing here. So you're looking to move on in your career? Yep. Believe it or not, this backwater burg doesn't cut it for me. You didn't treat us fairly in the articles you wrote. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I change what you said? No, you took what was said out of context. It seemed that way, but trust me, it's not what happened. It's common for subjects to be nervous and forget what they've said. You can't blame me for that. You'll get better. Anytime you want to practice, let me know. We could talk about Nancy. What do you think of Nancy? On the record or off the record? Just honestly. So off the record then. I think she's in big trouble and way, way out of her depth. And on the record? Well, gosh, she's just another example of what makes this town so special. Bye. Bye. All right. Thanks, Brenda. Okay, we're going to talk to... Hold on. I think we can check this uh, article here. Arson of the Old Town Hall. Yep. Okay. Now let's talk to Alexi as Ned. Hello. What do you know about Brenda? The reporter? She was in your pest room earlier today, too. Are you all taking turns or something? Send the next guy in with a sandwich, would you? What did Brenda ask while she was here? I don't like it when people ask me questions. Right now, you are pestering me with questions about previous questions that I was pestered with earlier. It's just recursive and rude, and now I have a headache. You're not a very chipper person. Why's that? I once was. Really? Oh, yeah. I had a lot of fun in life. <laughs> Friends. Girl, I was going to spend the rest of my life with. Okay, then what happened? What do you care? You some sort of tourist in other people's misery? No, it's just this shop is pretty cool. Seems like you'd be happy to run something like this instead of grumpy. You'd think that. I was happy, but one time, just once, I tried to speak truth to power, and man, if I didn't pay the price. What does that mean? It means my life has been a cruel joke. Try as you might, it's hard not to let that influence your general mood. What happened to end your career? Well, when you make it your business to tell the truth, you make a lot of people mad. That's what happened to me. <coughs> I was 20. I got on the block a few times. I been working my own cases for 10 years at that point. I'd seen it all. I'd been kidnapped. Knocked out, hexed, cursed, and locked up in a trunk. You name it. But I always nabbed the baddies. Always. That is until I turned in J.P. Bennington for cheating his way into City Hall. The Bennington family was very powerful in those days. Still is. In fact, Tony's brother-in-law is a Bennington. What happened? He accused me of stealing one of his father's priceless antiques, this ancient magnifying glass that was supposedly used in the drafting of the town charter supposedly belonged to one of the town's founding fathers. Why didn't you just say you were innocent? Ooh, that's a really good idea. I did, in hundreds of ways, to anyone who would listen. It didn't matter. That's not fair. No, it isn't. My life was just beginning, and in a blink, I was cut off at the knees. No one trusted me, no one had cases. I lost everything. I wanted to see the world. I was going to. Then, just like that, he took that from me. Now I try to bring a little of the world to me when I can. But look around. This isn't enough. What happened to Bennington? He slandered me in the press, and people forgot about how crooked he was. He got into City Hall. His career took off, he became a judge, and moved on to the big time. Bye-bye, River Heights. Bye-bye. Until next time. All right, well, that was pretty nice, learning about Alexi's past. Apparently, he used to be a detective like Nancy, and now... Um, his reputation is ruined, and so is his career. So, that's too bad for him, I guess. Alright, now we're going to meet the last two female characters in the game.
So Bess is over here spying on Deirdre. And this is Deirdre Shannon. Uh, you could say she's kind of Nancy's rival. Or, yeah, you could say that. Uh, Deirdre has a big crush on Ned. So this is going to help <laughs> with the game. So we're going to talk to her right now. Ned! How's it going? Can you tell me about Alexi? What's everyone's deal with him lately? I don't really know much. Apparently, he was accused of some crime when he was younger. No one really trusts him now. What crime? I really don't know. Probably something creepy. I mean, he does work in an antique shop. What do you think of Brenda? Seeing her makes me want to invest in hair salons and plastic surgery. You don't seem like a fan. Oh, I'm a huge fan of the whole Heights 9 news team. When news breaks, who will be boring about it? Ugh, I just sort of hate her. Why? She's just always so chipper. I hate it. Write down in your notebook that I hate that. Any other reason? My dad made her hit list a year back. She just makes stuff up. She dresses up and does hidden camera stings in these ridiculous outfits. Hey, didn't she dress up as Nancy once? I don't know. That's not normal behavior there. Okay, so Brenda dressed up as Nancy All one right, time. Later. That's suspicious to me for sure. Talk Hi. to him, Bess. What do you think Brenda is up to? Shh, sorry, can't talk about this now. Suspect is on the move. Wait, false alarm. Suspect is just grabbing a snack. Suspect loves snacking. How's the stakeout? Pretty good. I don't think she's on to me. On a related note, I have no idea what she's doing. Want some ice cream? No, eating ice cream is my cover. And she's been here for like 10 decades. I've already had all of the flavors on the menu. If this investigation doesn't stop soon, forget the new sundress I got won't be able to fit in my house. Bye. Talk to you later. All right, let's meet Tony Scolari now. Here she is. Hi, welcome. What can I get for you? Can you tell me what happened during the fire? It's still an open investigation. I can't give that information out to just anyone. I am a city official, so I have a certain responsibility here. Do you know much about Alexi's past? I do. He mentioned that he used to be a detective, like Nancy. Wow. He's usually pretty secretive about that. Did he mention that he let the power go to his head and stole from the people he was supposed to be helping? The town turned on him. He lost all his friends, and even his family practically disowned him. He says he was framed. In all this time, he's never proven his innocence. He must have been quite the detective. He still seems upset about it. Very upset. Very bitter about the whole thing. Do you know he's been jealous of Nancy all these years? She got what he wanted, and he hates it. Do you think Alexi's the type to try to frame Nancy? He might be. I wouldn't rule that out. Is there anything at all you can tell me about the fire? Obviously, it's a sad moment in the town's history, but the way this community has responded really shows off what's great about this city and this country. What do you know about Nancy Drew's arrest? It's sad for her and for this town. A lot of people put their faith and trust in Nancy, and she's really let a lot of people down. But she didn't do anything. It's not up to me to decide that. I just know what I've seen. I know that the police force here doesn't take anything lightly. If they've made a decision, I have to stand by it. Oh, excuse me, I have to go get this delivery. Alright, now we can sneak in Tony's works workspace. So we're just going to do that really quick. So that's locked. We need a key for that. What's this? Why would Tony have these? Pictures of the town hall. It's suspicious. This is just like what Nancy saw at the fire. Okay, so this is the ice cube that was on the thermostat when the fire started. So that even makes her more suspicious. And that's the key. It's probably the key to the back room there. So let's use that key right now. That's an accelerant. Too lean. Too lean's an accelerant. Could have started the fire. I need to find the right tools to open this lock. Okay, so we need to find a lock picking kit. I believe Nancy has one, so 
we can do that. Um, over here is a map of River Heights, and here is a game that you can play. Swap a lot. It's basically a letter. Um, it's a message kind of game. Um, you can play it whenever Tony's in the store, and once the truck beeps, uh, you can go sneak around Tony's place again. So we're going to leave right now, and we're going to call Nancy back. This video is mainly going to be uh, a lot of talking, so we're going to call Nancy and then we're going to make Nancy call Bess, and Bess is going to talk to Deirdre and Tony again. Hello? We found Tulene in Tony's store. Excellent work. Tony is starting to look like a promising suspect. I need help opening a locked file cabinet at Scoop. I've got my lock picking kit here. I'll leave it in the drop box for you. Okay, just before we do that, we are going to drop off what we got from Ned. Uh, can we actually drop these off? I guess not, whatever. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. We're just going to call Nancy back really quick now. Hello? I'm turning the case over to you. I'm on the case. Okay, so we are going to... Uh, we're going to call Bass. Yeah, we're going to call Bass. Nancy, what's up? I'm passing the case to you, Bess. Bess, reporting for duty. All right, let's talk to Deirdre. Hey there. Didn't expect to see you here. I thought you'd be jailing it up with that firebug friend of yours. Shouldn't you be baking our cake with a saw in it or something? Hi, Dee Dear Dra. I know it's got that tricky second syllable, but I figured it out by age two. Don't give up. You'll get there. Sorry. Hi, Dear Dra. Hey, now. Someone's getting an A in life. Is it me? Is it? Where were you during the fight? Are you investigating me? That's so cute. You were just priceless. I know you don't mean that as a compliment, but I'm taking it. That's it? No follow-up? What is this? Good cop, no other cop? You're going to have to tell us what happened eventually. Or what? You can't make me do or say anything. I know my rights. What do you think about Tony? She's got a lot of pull in this town. Who knows what she could be trying to get away with? Would you say that you hated the old town hall? You guys just don't stop, do you? I did not start the fire. Bye. Goodbye. So she isn't going to fess up to Bess or anything, so we're probably going to have to make Ned talk to her again. Alright, now, Tony really likes Bess, so we're going to talk to Tony right now. Well, hey there, kid. How are you holding up? I'm okay. Sorry to hear about your friend. Never expected something like that from her. This must have been pretty rough on you. She didn't do it, really. You've got to believe me. Yes, I believe you. I believe that's what you think. We never know what someone is capable of until it's too late. She's innocent. Really innocent. I know it. Oh, oh wait, oh wait. I, I wasn't trying to upset you, Bess, I promise. You're very protective of your friends, and that's a good thing. She's got a lot of evidence stacking up against her right now. You can't deny that. Why do you have paint supplies here? It is a never-ending battle to keep this place up. I get a lot of traffic in this shop, and I am constantly fussing and fixing up this place. It never ends. Are you running for a new term? Yes. How's that coming? It gets harder every election cycle. People will do anything for money or exposure. You have to play hardball to stay alive out there. I thought you'd be a little more concerned about Nancy's arrest. I know this is hard for you. I do. You brighten up my shop when you drop in, Bess. I hate to see you so upset. Of course I care, but what can I do? What's the story with the snowflake ice cubes? They're the cutest. Deirdre sent me to the novelty shop, and when I saw them, I just about died. I said, Tony, you get those and you put them in your shop. Don't think twice. Can you get them in any other shops around here? Nope. Only right here. All right, guys. I'm about to end the video right here. We're going to finish talking to Tony in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, until next time, peace guys.